Hello everyone, this is Joshua Goring from doitwithcms.com and in today's video presentation I'm going to be talking about content management system or CMS basics. And during this presentation I'm just going to answer a few questions such as what is a content management system? Uh, list some types of content management systems. Answer the question who can use a content management system? and also explain some of the advantages of actually using a content management system. Let's start off by answering the question, what is a content management system? A content management system, or CMS, is a type of software that allows users to create and manage content without having a bunch of technical experience. Now usually when somebody uses a content management system, they normally have some very specific purpose of creating something useful and in most cases this means building a website. Now the good thing about content management systems is that because you don't have to have a lot of technical experience this gives you and other users an easier way of adding, editing, and deleting any type of content that the specific CMS can actually handle. Now I want to clarify here about what I mean about content. Content refers to the type of information that the CMS will allow you to manage. So for example, text is the most common type of content that you can manage, but some content management systems will help you manage content like pictures, documents, songs, and even movies. And in all actuality, you know, some content management systems will allow you to manage virtually any type of content. Now I'm going to talk about two of the most popular types of content management systems. The first one I'll get into is about web content management systems or WCMS or just simply CMS. Now these types of content management systems are designed to help users manage their content online usually to create a website. Now in most cases you will not need to know any kind of web scripting or programming languages such as HTML or PHP in order to add, edit, or delete things to and from your website. Now the second one I'm going to talk about are enterprise content management systems. Now these types of content management systems primarily exist to manage the content of an organization. Now, such things can include documents, details, records, and anything else that a company might need to manage. Now often these are offline on intranets and intranets those are basically um, a private computer network for a certain company. Who can use a content management system? The great thing about content management systems is that they are actually designed for everyone to use. Now, to be more specific, let me give you a little breakdown of how a CMS can help each kind of user. First off, we'll begin talking about non-technical users. Now, if you have no idea what a programming language is or how to use one, then a content management system is perfect for you. Why? Because most content management systems will allow you to make easy and advanced changes using an administrative control panel, while the CMS automatically creates the required programming language codes for you. What's even greater is that you don't even have to look at or understand what is actually going on with the programming language because the content management system will take care of that for you. So you want to build an easy or complex website using a CMS but you don't have any programming experience? No problem! Because content management systems will take care of that for you. Now if you consider yourself a technical user, much like I do, such as if you're a 
programmer, developer, or designer, or even somebody with just a little bit of technical experience, then you'll find out that you will also benefit from using a content management system. Why? Because the CMS will make your life easier by doing things that would normally require you to manually do with a programming language. Now, now there are a select few of people that will probably still want to use custom programming language code and that's the great news right there because most content management systems will still allow you to add an extra programming code if you want to customize certain things even more. To conclude this video presentation, I'm now going to be talking about some more advantages of content management systems. They're designed to make your life easier, especially if you're a non-technical user, because in most cases you will not need to know any kind of programming language. Now, however, technical users will also benefit from this because they will not have to manually do so much programming code. Things will be sped up for you. A CMS will speed up things such as site development or anything else that you're trying to do with it instead of having to do it the old and much longer fashioned way. Everything will stay organized. As the name implies, content management system will manage anything that you want it to. And with most content management systems, this means having anything you want to be managed all laid out in a nice and easy to use structure. Users can collaborate with each other. Some content management systems will allow users to edit the same file or content at the same time or at different times so that multiple users can contribute to it. Now, in most cases, you can make or virtually make any kind of website using a content management system. So if you're using a content management system for web or online purposes, then this will definitely, definitely be a very great benefit for you. Now, last but definitely not least, in most cases, using a content management system will save you money this is because they offer all of the above advantages already mentioned and so much more. Thank you for watching this video presentation. Again, my name is Joshua Goring, and if you all want to stay updated with all of our new releases, come check us out at doitwithcms.com. And if you want to email me personally, you can contact me at Joshua G at doitwithcms.com. Okay, have a good day.